Assalamualaikum, and, Assalamualaikum and salam sejahtera. We meet again in a video. Uh, this video is to discuss on the uh, shares of uh, right issues and bonus issues. Both uh, right issue and bonus issue are uh, issued to the existing shareholders, meaning that they, uh, the company will not open or will not offer the share to the public. Only those who have to share with the company. Okay, uh, the the difference or the comparison between the two is the right issue is actually to raise a fund. Uh, for example, the company would like to buy a new building and they do not have uh, sufficient cash. Uh, when they do not have cash, they need some money so they can issue the right issue for funding the uh, purchasing. Uh, or the company would like to expand or taking up a new project. So whenever they need to raise the fund. Okay, the, but the bonus issue is actually to pay out the dividend. Uh, since the cash money is risky for them to pay out the cash dividend. So they use bonus issue as a replacement of cash dividend. Uh, and the right issue is actually to receive money. But the bonus issue actually does not involve any money. It's it just that we are using a retained profit to issue the bonus issue share. Whereby the right issue does not um, depend on the retained profit. So bonus issue, um, whenever the company want to issue the bonus issue shares, they must have sufficient retained profit to issue the bonus issue. Otherwise, they cannot issue that. So, how to record these two? Okay, let's look into how to record the uh, transactions of bonus shares and also uh, the right issue shares. So, um, okay, uh, on your left screen, there's an example of questions. For example, they give you, okay, then uh, you may pause the video and read the question first okay, from the questions it says that uh, the both shares will be given one share for every 15 shares held by the ordinary shareholders and the extract of statement of financial position from the Bahaman Berhad asset 31st December 2018 it says here there were 6 million ordinary shares so the calculation that we should do to calculate uh, how many bonus issue share unit that you will issue for the uh, depends on the questions. So this six million, okay, six million units divide by fifteen because it says every fifteen units. You will have one bonus issue share. So the uh, price is in the question. The price is one ringgit. So your calculations uh, 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 would be uh, the, the result would be uh, four hundred thousand. And you can calculate with the calculator. Okay. And the four hundred units. Uh, well, the price is one ringgit, so the amount of money that you will need to uh, take out from the uh, to take out from the retain profit uh, from the retain profit. Remember, bonus issue uh, will be issued using a retain profit. So this is the amount that must have uh, a retain profit that must held by the company. So you can see from the extract statement of financial positions, the retained profits <coughs> of Harman Brahat uh, as at 31st December 2018, they have retained profit more than enough to finance the bonus share. So they can issue bonus shares. So the um, journal entry should be debit retain profits because we uh, retain profit usually has 
credit balance so you want to take out the uh, lithium profit take out them out and to uh, to issue the bonus shares and the amount is 400 so debit lithium profit credit bonus share and you need to recognize the bonus share to the ordinary share capital so you will debit bonus share and credit ordinary share capital oops wrong spelling with the same amount so debit bonus share four hundred thousand and credit ordinary share capital that's how you uh, write on uh, records for the bonus shares for the uh, right issue it says here for one share for ev uh, one share for every 10 shares okay so you need to calculate how many units first so six million units of shares uh, as at, um, because it says here ordinary shareholders as at 31 December 2018 so it does not include the, um, the bonus shares because bonus shares uh, date is actually uh, 5th January so January 5th so so the, you you cannot uh, include the bonus shares so still using the 6 million the, the 6 million um, number of units eh? And the price for the uh, right issue is one ringgit and fifty. Uh, normally, the right issues are fully subscribed. It's rarely that it's oversubscribed or undersubscribed. We usually, are fully subscribed. I mean, that's the, um, the normal practice. Uh, so you will have. Um, You will have, so your record would be uh, receive the money from the shareholders. This is there is a uh, account bank. So debit. Uh, the calculation is that six hundred thousand. So six million divided by ten is of course this is hundred thousand, and multiply with one point five. Oops. Sorry about that. Okay, so, so you debit bank account and credit right issue account. So you have another account that you call right issue shares, right issue account, and that you need to recognize right issue into ordinary share capital. So right issue, debit right issue account, and with the same amount, and put them in auditory share capital with this amount. So that's it for general entries. Uh, to record in a statement of financial position for the next year, I mean the 31st December 20. 19 remember the ordinary shares has been increased so we have 600,000 here for right issue and another 400,000 units for bonus shares so you can see that okay you put bonus issue units is 400,000 and the right issue is 600,000 So definitely, it becomes 7 million units of shares. And the bonus issue is 400,000 ringgit. And, but the uh, RM, uh, ringgit Malaysia for right issue is 900,000.
for total uh, ringgit Malaysia for ordinary share for uh, it should be for uh, eight million five hundred thousand. So now you will put the ordinary shares units is seven million units and the amount is eight million five hundred thousand and the retained profit okay we have uh, taken out the four hundred thousand so it becomes one million five five zero one million five hundred and fifty because we have uh, taken out four hundred thousand but that's not um, but the retain profit actually um, still doesn't include the net profit for uh, 2019 year but this is how um, how it would be uh, displayed means that um, regarding the information that we have in the questions okay. that's all for now thank you for watching